Hello! Today I want to talk about finding your goals and passions. That is something that's so important for me. Um, probably because I've been looking for my true passion for a long time. And um, I always find it more difficult to, than most people. Uh, it seems to me like others knew what they wanted to do in school and then afterwards. And, and I was still struggling until recently. And uh, actually, it was until I met Bob Proctor. Um, I, I love his work, and, and right away when I first saw him on video on YouTube, I, I knew that uh, that's what I needed to hear, and, and it really resonated with me. So I met him uh, in October 2013, and uh, that was a truly amazing experience. I went to Matrix in Toronto, and um, it's uh, six days, and the first day I made it my objective to just ask a question. That's all I wanted to do. I wanted to get involved in the conference. So I did. I asked a question. And then the following day, the second day, well, <laughs> the ice was broken because I just asked so many questions. I, I really wanted to get the most out of it. And, and we also started working on our projects. And um, when I got there, my main objective was to teach what Bob teaches as well. I just think this information is so valuable. It needs to be spread out to as many people as possible. So that was my main goal. And then um, we, we worked in small groups and, um, and I, I was asked, whom do I, I would like to teach? And I said, well, kids, because uh, when you're growing up, uh, your mind is still forming so you can be influenced a lot more. And, and if you learn that information at a younger age, then the impact on your entire life is so much more important. So, so I thought, okay, I'm going to teach kids about this material, how to change uh, your results, how to understand yourself better, how to understand your subconscious mind. Um, and, and then I, something didn't really resonate with me. So I went to see Bob uh, and I asked him, um, what, what's wrong? Why don't I feel this from the heart? And that's what I wanted. I really wanted to feel something from the heart. And uh, he just asked me a few very simple questions and, um, and and I don't know how it came on the subject, but I told him about a penthouse. Uh, it's a beautiful penthouse that I visited here in Quebec City, Canada, and I, I, I love it. I really want to live there. And he said, oh, see, you're smiling. That's your goal. That's what you need to go for. And, and, and that was truly amazing when I realized that it, it felt right. So I knew that was the goal. So then I... I um, the following day, in front of the class, I just stepped, stepped in front of the class and I told them everything that I had discovered. That I, I was feeling good about my previous goal of teaching uh, Bob Proctor's material, but the goal of the penthouse was so much stronger. It was really resonating with my heart. So I knew that um, it was the goal. So then I went back to sit down in the classroom and I went, wow. Well, what just happened? I know that there is something bigger. There is something bigger than the penthouse. It's just like jumping in front of the classroom, teaching people, sharing who I am, sharing what I felt from my heart, being vulnerable, being myself. Wow, that's what I want to do. <laughs> so I went from teaching to kids, to the penthouse, to the epiphany in front of the classroom. Um, to, to tell me what I wanted to do um, and that's it that's what I'm doing now that's what I'm teaching you through this video so uh, so that's it so I, I just want to say that um, keep, keep looking even though you, you feel that everybody else has got it figured out uh, it means that if you still can't find your true goal your true passion that's because yours is probably worth more and it's probably bigger than most people so that's why it's harder to find but once you find it it really goes all by itself and it just it's beautiful it's really worth looking for so um so that's it i hope that you enjoyed this video i hope that it really um, inspires you as well to keep looking find your passion and live it experience your passion that's that's the most beautiful thing ever that's that's living that's it <laughs> thank you